Hey everybody, hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So I have here on me the Blackview BV9900 Pro or 9900 Pro. The name is pretty long. So Blackview is one of these smaller Sengen startups that specializes in making rugged phones. These are rugged in three areas. They're temperature proof, so you can put them in the freezer, you can put them in the microwave, and they'll survive extreme temperatures. They're waterproof, IP68 water resistant, and they're shock proof, so you can drop these from pretty far up and you're not gonna see any damage. No damage whatsoever, other than the flap being out a little bit. I've reviewed several Blackview phones in the past, actually, um, from 2018. You remember one of them, I actually put it in boiling water for five minutes and I tossed it all around the street with no damage. It took like 10 minutes of punishment before it actually broke. So Blackview phones are pretty legit. But I stopped covering them over the past two years because I just thought these rugged phones are all starting to perform exactly the same. There was like nothing new to offer. So Blackview have been asking me to review phones all throughout last year. And, and I would just turn them down. I just said, no, sorry, I'm not interested. But this one particularly piqued my interest because there's actually something new here. Right here particularly. This is an FLIR camera. It's a forward-looking infrared camera that is used to check temperatures. So right now you should be able to see that I'm quite heated right now. Now, why is this particularly important at this point in time? As you probably already know, we are undergoing an unprecedented, or well, at least unprecedented in modern history, um, pandemic. And to be honest, the world's not gonna return to normal anytime soon. Even when, you know, even when, when we flatten the curve around the world and everyone begins to to come back out to the normal lives, things are not gonna be the same. Like people, especially in Asia, whenever we're sick and coughing, we're gonna to be told to wear a mask. And I'm pretty sure whenever you enter a foreign country now, particularly in Asia again, they're gonna set up infrared cameras to check your temperature. In fact, they already do that now in Japan, in China, in Hong Kong, in Korea. So expect that to happen all throughout Europe too. And the cameras that the airport security used to check your temperature, it's basically this, is an FLIR camera. It scans your body to check for the heated areas and it'll see if you have a fever or not. Now, obviously, having a fever, it's not the end-all, be-all uh, symptom of having coronavirus. You can have the virus and not have a fever at all, but that's still a nice precaution to have. So this phone stands out because it has the camera built in, so I can check people's temperature myself now. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any live human being for me to check because my girlfriend is still in the US. But as you see here, I've already taken this outside and I'm like scanning cats and trolling all the neighborhood cats left and right. They hate me so much. But you can tell that the infrared camera actually works. And it also works on electronics too. Like by scanning over my MacBook right now, you can see it heats up exactly where the battery is. Likewise with the wireless charger, it heats up at the wireless charger and the Samsung Galaxy phone that's on the base and also in the camera. Okay, so aside from this FLIR camera right here, above it, it's a 48 megapixel main camera and below it's a five megapixel depth sensor and over here, it's a two megapixel macro lens. And down here, if you're wondering, this is a heart rate sensor and the cameras are actually surprisingly not bad. This is surprising because usually, Whenever I test one of these smaller Sengen startup phones, the cameras are pretty trash. This one, I wouldn't say it's great, but it's not bad at all. Look at these samples here. This nice shot is shot just automatic mode, and it's pretty decent. But then if I turn on night mode, look at it. This is actually pretty nice. It's pretty punchy. It's Instagrammable. And even without night mode, again, this is a, you know, the balance and dynamic range is respectable. It's not the greatest. Can't compare to something like from a Huawei or a Samsung phone, but this is not bad at all for a smaller Sengen startup. Now, the macro lens also work, as you can see here, us do the depth sensor. Bokeh images are respectable. They're nothing amazing, but they're respectable. Now, there is no telephoto lens here, but you do get a two times digital zoom that's respectable because it's pulling data from the 48 megapixel sensor. Now, overall, the software is surprisingly clean. This one's Android 10 with Blackview's software skin on top. There is no app tray, unfortunately. And when you jump into settings, some of the translations are a little bit off, like still a little bit of Chinglish here and there. But overall, 
not bad at all and everything functions as it should this, this is a toolbox app that tool bag that if you use blackberry phones before you will be familiar with it offers all the stuff that you would need like if you're going camping or something like a sound meter a height measure a compass and the heart rate sensor works as advertised so the heart rate sensor is back here i just have to put my finger over it hit start and it is measuring my heart rate right now it should be a little bit high because i've been kind of running around and i'm speaking kind of loud in front of the camera it's also really hot today in hong kong holy shit 115 beats per minute that's really high that's not healthy a healthy human being should not have heart rate this high but it's accurate i wore my apple watch earlier and measured the heart rate side by side and they were very close like just about difference of like five or six beats so this is pretty legit i'm also a fan of this design this is like a kevlar finish that's pretty rugged but it's also soft to the touch like it's grippy but it's not like really harsh to the touch and on the side it's all aluminum right here that it's cool to the touch again and it feels pretty nice there are not many sharp edges on this phone everything is chamfered so it curves in seamlessly it blends in seamlessly with the kevlar to the metal so the fingerprint sensor right here it's it's a little bit hit and miss it, it works for the most part i find that sometimes i'll be accidentally pressing against it when i'm walking and it will just be registering false touches and it won't unlock later because it, it, will, it will think that i tried to unlock it too many times with the wrong fingerprint oh i forgot to talk about this selfie camera here it's a 16 megapixel shooter and surprisingly selfies turn out pretty nice let me find the selfie i took earlier and you can get a take a portrait mode too and all the edge detection around my hair is a little bit off for the most part this is not bad like this selfie here is pretty clean with accurate balance and dynamic range again with these smaller sengen phones i usually don't expect much from the camera but this is actually pretty good now video performance as you can see here is is just okay there's no stabilization but i actually think the dynamic range and balance and color accuracy are all pretty good and there's not a lot of noise despite the fact that i'm shooting at night right now oh and i forgot to talk about chipset so inside this phone is a helio p90 which you know you already know by now what to expect it's not going to compare to a qualcomm snapdragon 865 but it's Definitely good enough to handle any social media apps or games. As long as you're not editing 4K videos on this thing, the Hero P90 is more than good enough. And the battery, it's a, let me check, 4,380 4, hours. So that's actually kind of small for a rugged phone, but it has still been enough to last me all day. But still, usually when I test rugged phones, they come with like 8,000 million hour battery, 6,000 million hours. So this is kind of small. So you will need to charge this just about every night. It's not going to last two full days. So that's about it for this first look at the Blackview BV9900 Pro. Now, this phone sells for about 445 bucks for now, US dollars. That's a little bit high for a smaller name brand like Blackview. But you got to remember, you're getting something here that you're not getting anywhere else. This thermal camera, FLIR camera is legit. And you can actually use this to scan people's temperature or it would be helpful to scan your laptop to check if it's overheating if you're like in the middle of gaming or something so if you consider the fact that this camera offers you something that no other smartphone camera can do right now then that might be worth a look the overall package is really solid this is a phone that again if you're really outdoorsy camping person you can take with you and it will get the job done and i'm really impressed by the main camera performance too so that's about it for now Please stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more content coming the next few days, including on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. That's still coming to me. I'm going to review the new MacBook too. So take care. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching.